Let's pray to God for Sister Cynthia that she comes. Amen. Amen. Good morning to each and every one of you. Good morning. I'm glad to be in service one more time. I don't know about you, but I'm very glad. I'm excited already just to get here. <laughs> Let's just praise the Lord. It's a party going on. Amen. It is a party going on because God is good. I mean, he is good. He is worthy to be praised. Yeah. Woo! That's why I'm saying, I am on the battle.
no, no fame or fortune, no riches untold. I
turn from our wicked ways, Lord Jesus, and ask for forgiveness. Then will you heal the land, God. And we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you forgive us, God, for each and every one of our sins, God, for every sin that we've committed against you, God, for every iniquity, Lord, for every transgression. We pray right now in the name of Jesus for forgiveness, God. Forgive us, Lord, for our sins, God. It was our sins that put you on that cross. And we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you forgive us, God. We haven't been so good, Lord, but we thank you for all your grace, God. We thank you for your mercy, God, and we give you all the glory today, God. We thank you, God, for the Cedar Grove family, Lord Jesus. Continue to touch and grow us, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Be with us, God. Let your Holy Spirit fill us in the name of Jesus. Let it fill your people first, God, and then fill the house in the name of Jesus. We pray right now in the name of Jesus for the Grace Temple family, God. Continue to build them up, God, where they're low. Touch them where they're down in the name of Jesus. And we pray for Calvary right now in the name of Jesus. We pray that they find somebody, God. If they don't find somebody soon, Lord, we know that you have a set man over there, God. And we pray for our bishop right now in the name of Jesus. Continue to touch them. Give them strength, God, to travel here and there, God, from Procoima to L.A., God. Back and forth, God. We pray for his strength, God, in the name of Jesus. You know what he's going through, God. You know what he has to deal with, God. You know the energy that it takes, God, out of him. And we pray, Lord Jesus, that you restore him, God, that you renew him, that you revive him. In the name of Jesus, we pray right now, God, for our bishop. We pray for his family, God. We pray for the first lady. In the name of Jesus, God, you know what she's dealing with, God. You know that she has to go to the hospital this week, Lord. But we pray right now for victory. In the name of Jesus, we know that she's already healed, God, because we know that by your stripes, we are healed. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying for us, God, for dying for our sins, Lord, for all that you've done for us in our lives. And we'll give you all the glory. We'll continue to give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Let's pray to God. Let's pray to God. Amen. Now we're going to have one more selection. Amen. Amen. Before our tithes and offering appeal, let's praise God. Amen. Amen. For our selection, amen. 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 amen.
bride. Yeah. Yes. And as we go into the text, the first type of soil, which represents our heart, is the wayside soil. Yes. Yes. Jesus said some fell by the wayside. Yes. And for some of us, we don't know what the wayside is. Its definition is this. The soil, the wayside soil, is the side of the road. Amen? Yes. Yes. It's the hard ground. Yes. And none of us want to be wayside saints. Yes. Because at the wayside is where so much stuff has been packed in and where the seed is sown, it cannot be received by the ground because it's too hard. Amen? But the sad reality is, is that some of us in here are wayside saints. We come to church Sunday after Sunday and so much stuff has been deposited in us already that the word of God cannot go forth and be received within us. We've been told that we're beneath when God has told us that we are the head and not the tail. We've been told that we're lonely and by ourselves when God says, I'll never leave you. We've been told that we're poor and pitiful when God says that we're royal and peculiar. We have been contaminated, amen? We have been polluted by the things that we hear. But whose report shall you believe? Some of you may believe the report of your friends. Some of you may believe the report of your family members. Some may even believe the report of your spouses. But I shall believe the report of the Lord. And so even though I, I, my first point was supposed to be pride, uh -huh. my first point was pollution. Yes. We have yes. too many things that are going inside of our minds. Yes. Yes. And we cannot receive the word of God because we're listening to everything else yes. that is yes. being said. Amen. Yes. And so now I want to get into pride. Pride. Mm. Somebody say pride. pride. Thinking that you know it all can keep you from hearing God. That's being prideful, amen? Yeah. Because when someone tells you something, you're not open to receive it because you're definite about your position. Yeah. Yeah. My bishop says all the time, you can be sincere, but you can be sincerely wrong. Yeah. And so dealing with wayside saints, you have to be willing to open up your hearts to receive the word of God. Yeah. Or Jesus said the devil will come in and remove the word oh, from you. Pride. pride. Pride is a dangerous thing. It sure is. Somebody say dangerous. dangerous. Pride is dangerous because when you are so caught up in yourself uh -huh. and the accomplishments that you have made and the things that you have done yes. and everything that comes out of your mouth is predicated on I did this and I did that and I know this and I know that, then you miss out on the concept that if it wasn't, if it wasn't for I am, if it wasn't for God, if it wasn't for Jesus, we wouldn't be where we are. God has a funny way of having us miss out on a lot of things. And typically, your life ends early when you have a lot of pride. If you don't believe me, there were two men that hung on the cross beside Jesus. There were both thieves. One thief was very haughty and proud and even made fun of Jesus. But the other rebuked him for what he had said about our Lord and Savior and asked Jesus to remember him. And I just want to tell somebody, there's a few of us in here that don't know that Jesus has not forgotten about you. He's on, you're on his mind and he is by your side. As a matter of fact, you were on his mind so heavy that he thought you were worth saving. He thought that you were worth keeping and he thought you were to die for. Amen? Because one Friday, he laid down his life for you and I. He died, but the Bible says, early Sunday morning. He got up with all power in his hand. And I don't know about you, but I don't know where I'd be without the Lord. I don't know where I'd be without Jesus. Anyone that would die, that I might have life. It's not just worthy of me listening to him, but worthy of me living for him. Amen? And so the doors of the church are open. Amen? It's a quick word, quick word from God. The doors of the church are open. If you don't know the Lord and the pardon of your sins, 
Amen. We ask that you come now. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, yes. that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. All right, all right. Amen. Is there one today? Amen. Is there one today? Amen. All right. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died for us. Yes. Amen. And that's a reason. All right, all right. That's a reason to live for him. That's a reason to be saved. Amen. Is there one today? Amen. Let's praise God for a saved house. Amen. Right. Amen. Let's praise God for a saved house today. Amen. Yeah. Amen. At this time, we're going to have our love offering. Amen. Those who need a love offering envelope, please raise your hands high. The ushers are coming now to serve you. Amen. 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 Let's take over care of our bishop. Amen. We know that he's traveling from location to location, yes. and he needs some gas money. Amen. <laughs> he needs to provide for his family. Amen. Yes. And this is his only means of income. So let's take care of our bishop. Amen. Yes. Come on. Let's take care of our bishop. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. We need to love our phenomenal up again. Please raise your hands high. God, should I come and serve you? Amen. If we're all ready, can we all stand? Amen. 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 And just come from where you are. Come from where you are. Amen. Any more announcements? Amen. Minister Cecil, you want to come and talk about next Sunday, July 31st, our, our yes, concert. Amen. Yes, Let's <laughs> Put on glass coming in the door. Amen. Amen. Next Sunday, I believe, is Family and Friends Day here. Is that correct? That's correct. So we will start off here. Um, at 11 o'clock with Amen. our family and friends day. And then at 6 p.m. Cedar Grove and Grace Temple both will come together for our throwback concert. Now, it's a, it is our bishop's vision that everything that we do at Grace Temple, we do at Cedar Grove as well because we are brother and sister churches. And so as we have done the throwback concert here, and the, those of you that remember Memorial Day weekend when we did the throwback concert here, Amen. we're going to do the same concert at Grace Temple. Amen? Amen. we different guests. we different guests on next Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Have some great people, but we're going to sing songs. So for Cedar Grove's concert, our theme was songs from the 60s and 70s. Right. And for Grace Temple, our theme will be songs of the 80s and 90s. All right. and so that way we can cover the medium of all of choir and choral and gospel music within those confines. And then when we get ready to do it again, we'll reach back and do some 40s and 50s. <laughs> you know, so on and so forth. Songs of slavery time, and therefore. And so let's just be encouraged to participate in that endeavor. Thank you, Minister White, for this time. <laughs> Remember every Tuesday at Grace Temple at 7 p.m. Amen is our choir rehearsal practice. Amen. 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 Again, our Bible study is every Wednesday at 12 p.m. here at Cedar Grove. We're in here praying. Amen. 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 Remember again, next Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Amen. Let's go out and invite our family and our friends to come and enjoy service with us. Amen. In the last Sunday of the month. Amen. 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 If there's not anything else, there's not anything else, we can go on home. Amen. Everybody standing, everybody standing.
Father, we thank you today. We thank you for the word from today, God. We pray that you continue to bless each and every one of us, God. Continue to touch our bishop and his family, God, the first lady, Lord. Continue to touch each and every one of us in this place, God. We thank you for all that you've done for us, God. And we pray that you continue to bless us. In Jesus' name. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us farther before his presence with exceeding great joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever, shall we all say together, Amen. Amen.